On a fantastic journey through the GI tract, the tiny pill cam has a one-way ticket out, but it's giving doctors an inside view of the small intestine, part of the digestive system that was a no-man's land. In between the stomach and the colon is about 15 feet of bowel, and so there's lots of stuff that can go on in that part of the intestine that we can't see with our endoscopes. Instead of delivering medicine, the pill cam sends signals to an exterior recorder, two images per second over an eight-hour span, resulting in about 57,000 images. Prior to this, we, we had one of two options, really. One is some sort of an x-ray, and that would be a CAT scan and or a barium swallow. A non-surgical super sleuth, it's used when doctors need help solving medical mysteries. It forces the small intestine to give up its secrets, but the pill cam is not for everyone. The first indication would be that the patient is bleeding from their intestinal tract and we can't find it. We look in the stomach thing, we look in the colon, we don't see anything. So we assume that it's somewhere in in the middle. The second would be if we are concerned about Crohn's disease. Patients are outfitted in the morning. This first one is our eight lead sensory belt. Once it's connected to the patient, it connects to the recorder. And then this is a sensory belt where instead of doing that, this just goes around them. By the time they swallow the dime-sized capsule, everything is hooked up and ready to go. They can do whatever they'd like as long as they're up and moving around because it's gravity fed. In the afternoon, the gear is removed. The pill cam will pass naturally. This less invasive approach may make a difficult diagnosis easier to swallow. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.